Okay. Adjusted pants. Shirt. Watch. Some knuckles. My ear. Anyway, here we are. Mic adjusted for Monday. Where I'm taking you a tour around the country I live in. State by state. And in case you don't know, I guess I'll spoil it for you. The next date we're doing is the, uh, let me, let me click here and then wait, let's just check again. Cause I'm paranoid. Yes. We're doing the great state of Missouri. That's, I don't know if I agree with it. Um, but alphabetically we have to do it. It's, it's an obligation at this point. The map we're doing, I forget exactly who it was. It's got a picture of a very sad looking cat. And I don't think it's that one you may be thinking of that seems ubiquitous on the internet for their icon. It's a different one. Um, it's got 250 plus images and has been rated extremely hard. So I have very little hope in my ability to actually do this, let alone um, since I've actually never been to this state. But we have a starting point at least. And as you can see, hand, 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 handily, handy. Something that is handy. This is it's it's a handy little sign that goes with the state, as you can see. Here's Missouri. Minnesota was here last week, and as you see, we we we're in the Midwest. We still got some more states to go through before uh, we can say goodbye to it. But as we're here, I'm going to see if I can't find a 17 where this might be hard. Oh, never mind. Now the problem is, it looks like 17 is a Maybe nope, nope. It's it's a long, it's a long goddamn road. As you see, it goes the entire length of the uh, state. It looks like maybe ending here. It looks like it ends there. So we have a start and an end from Lake Ozark all the way down to uh, where was it? here so i'm just going to put us at like here and just kind of click until i actually see something we can we can go with and as we tour this strip of land might as well talk about the state itself it is the uh 24th state admitted to the union on uh august 10th 1821 as part of the missouri compromise which also if you remember i may have mentioned it with maine where um the union admitted um both of those states in the union, but, or maybe it was, they, they allowed uh, Maine into it, but um, in order to keep a balance between the uh, slave states and the non-slave states, another state had to be introduced to balance it out so that the North wasn't stronger than the South. So uh, Maine came in as a free state and Missouri was allowed in as a slave state. Um, its capital is Jefferson City. Largest is uh, Kansas City, which is uh, over here, which kind of kind of part of uh, Kansas. But now we actually have a place we can go from here. So now I have to try to find Roby. So bear with me, please, as I attempt to locate. There's Roby. We're heading north on 17. So it's 12 miles to Roby. Route 32 is that way. So we're very close. Maybe like here. I think I nailed it. Anyway, um, it is, let's see, largest metro is Greater St. Louis. The 21st largest state by area at just over 180,000 square kilometers, which is 69,000 square miles. Highest elevation is extremely short, at only 1,772 feet which is Tom Sock Mountain. Lowest is the Francis River at the Arkansas border, which is on the south. It's the 18th largest in population, 30th in density, and average median income is 37th with only 53,000. Kind of low. Oh, we were, well, we were heading south, so obviously we would be there, but I'm dumb. It's, uh, let's see. Its nickname is the Show Me State, which is the one I know about. Um, I don't know so much the where it came from. I think it just had to do with like, prove it to me. 
in like a visual sense. Apparently it's called Cave State and Mother of the West, which I can see Mother of the West as a lot of people heading out west would uh, probably first start out going to someplace in Missouri. I forget exactly where it was. Maybe Ford, in, no, Ford Independence was farther out west, I believe, in Chicago. And so was, no, in Chicago, Colorado, along with, I think, Fort Laramie, which might be Wyoming. But there was a starting point out here that everybody, when they were, you know, doing the Manifest Destiny, which was the feeling that Americans had that we colonize this, we need the rest of this. And kind of the staging point for doing that was, I forget exactly where within Missouri itself, but it was kind of kind of uh, established at that. Like if you ever played the game um, Oregon Trail, it kind of just starts there. Uh, Modot, Adapa Highway. Okay, we got Beaufort, Union, 68 miles to St. Louis. All right, so let's kind of go from here and look for a Union. There's Union. So Beaufort is right there. Okay, eight miles from that. So maybe we're in Leslie. Let's see if I can't uh, maybe get a little closer here to a uh, root sign. Growing together, that doesn't really help me. Um, what else we got? Oh, speed limit apparently is 60. We're, in, we're just outside Gerald. All right. So are we near Woody Bogler Trucking? Is that what this is? So let's take a look. Gerald Auto Center. Oh, interesting story. Um, a lot of the times, if you ever, if you don't know what U-Hauls are, they're kind of a, a ubiquitous moving company within the U.S. I think there might be some in Canada as well, but it's like whatever your country has for a moving thing, the U.S. version is U-Haul. And regardless of where it is in the country, every U-Haul truck is registered in Arizona. Because I believe, much like if you know anything about stories of, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, we were a little farther down from Woody Bagua Trucking. Let me hit home, see if I can't get a little closer. Much like uh, New Life Tabernacle. I don't see it. That doesn't help me. A little farther down. Much like cruise ships were there stationed out of certain areas because of economic advantages they get for doing that. I believe the state of Arizona doesn't have any uh, inspections on their vehicles they need to have. So if they register everything out of Arizona, it covers wherever they are in the country. So they do that to save on paying. Say like, maybe Missouri here has like very strict um, uh, like car inspection stuff and emission standards that they have to stick to, but U-Haul's like, ah, 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 we're out of Arizona, so we're just leaving our cars here. You know, it's it's loopholes people love doing. Um, anyway, tangent aside, uh, what else we got about Missouri to talk about here? Uh, it was part of the uh, Louisiana Purchase, which, um, if you haven't really learned to understand. Pretty much anything that has to do with uh, this swath of the country usually had to be carved out of the uh, Louisiana Purchase. Um, apparently, Missouri um, kind of have St. Louis on one side, Kansas City on the other. It's kind of just like uh, another amalgamation of at least regional cultures in the sense that kind of like Louisiana and how I just was effusive about New Orleans. You can kind of say about Missouri in that it combines, wow, that's that low. Like, I'm that close. And that's not even, I thought I would have got more for that. Um, it's, it's a good mix or meeting point between Midwest culture and kind of Southern, um, like, blues, barbecue. There's a style of barbecue. There's, I think, three in the U.S., there's like uh, Memphis, Kansas City, and fuck, is it, I don't know if it's a specific place in Texas or if it's just called Texas, where one is vinegar-based, one's mustard-based, and one's kind of that ketchup, like, barbecue thing. Wow, these are some very uh, 
small roads if they're doing it by letters. So this one might be hard to find. Um, if you're if you don't even know what barbecue culture is, eh, it's a food thing, and maybe you're that's not your thing. But if you want, go ahead and look up that stuff and the different um, varieties there are at least in the U.S. I'm pretty sure I've tried all of them. I don't know if I have a staple, but growing up in the Northeast, we don't really have our own barbecue culture, and the ones that kind of made it um, around the U.S. usually were just the ketchup-based ones. And I may be getting this. Carolina, I think, might be the other one too. That might be the bigger one. And either way, look this stuff up. I'm talking out of my ass like I normally do here. Um, anything else about Missouri to talk about quick here? Apparently, well-known Missouri people are Chuck Berry, uh, Cheryl Crow, Walt Disney, Edwin Hubble, uh, the rapper Nelly. Apparently, I think he's a wrestler, Randy Orton, Brad Pitt, former president Harry Truman. And probably the best known um, American author would be Mark Twain. I like Mark Twain. He, he had some good one-liners. Um, let's see. Um, I think, let's see what do we got here. The Gateway Arch. Where is the Gateway Arch actually? Oh, that's the uh, thing in, I believe it's St. Louis, right? Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like St. Louis's landmark going back to the Oregon Trail thing. It's a really long arch in the city. Um, quickly, anything else? State is named for the Missouri River, which is named after the indigenous Missouri Indians. It's a Siouan language tribe, apparently. And it is said they were called the I'm not going to pronounce that, which means those who have dugout canoes by the Miami and Illinois language speakers, which were, you've got uh, Miami, Ohio, which is, <clears throat> um, I think down here with the Ohio River and the Illinois, I believe. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to get a town off of this. I got super lucky that time. This time, not so much, but we persevere. Chris Coster for governor. Did he win? Let's let's take a look. Let's see if we spoiled it here for governor. Mike Parson is the governor. So Chris, uh, sorry to tell you, whenever this was, what, 2016, I think, maybe this Google Photos? Uh, I can't tell. It might have been. I didn't see anything. I got very distracted. We've got a junction of letters here, and I'm not going to see these here. we got double H's. M's. Yeah. Maybe up here. Well, we got K, so I'll click there and just hope I got it right. I'm going to make a guess and see if... No, nope, we were very much closer on the previous guess. Right outside of French Village. Um, since it was part of the Louisiana Purchase, a lot of it was um, colonized by the French, so that's why you've got places like St. Louis. Um, what were the other places they were talking about? Uh, fuck. I missed it. St. Genevieve. It, it's, it's local places. Anyway, quickly owned by the Spanish, then went back to the French, and then the U.S. got it. Um, I, Route 65. All right, we do have a... Okay, 65, since it is a massive chunk of road. I'm going to need a bit more... Um, info here and usually north on 65 so we're heading south and oh god oh god I will not make that mistake we're gonna head this way I'm gonna see what flag they got here I think it's a church I don't know what type of church is the um, popular one around here let's just take a look real quick at it's a pretty hot place as far as weather goes. It is the plains. It's, again, like a lot of places, extremely rural, except for here, here, a smidge down in Springfield and Columbia. But it's pretty uh, rural, as they say. Oh, we do have a sign. This may help us a little bit. We've got Lineville. And, oh, we're actually near the uh, 
border up here on uh, 65. 65, right? Where is it? Right here. All right. We've got 5 mil Lineville. You guys really uh, went all out with the name of your town, didn't you? All right. So we're maybe outside Mercer. Um, let's, let's continue. Maybe I can see. Come on, get out of the screen. Thank you. Uh, Taking the, take the regional signage. It's a lot of churches of Mercer welcome you. So we are actually... Yeah, we're pretty close. Uh, do I have anything to add about this place? Mm. Apparently, it's 58% Protestant. Uh, economy has to do with agriculture. Yeah, it's farmland. You've got energy, blah, blah, blah. A lot of stuff again off Wikipedia here. See anything? Real interesting to quickly look at here. Oh, what is this? Map depicting school sizes by total awarded degrees. Uh, that's something out of my mind field this early. Let's see, we got music. Interesting stuff here. You got Chuck Berry again. Tina Turner. Michael McDonald of the Doobie Brothers. Nellie, Chingy, and Akon. All part of St. Louis country singers. I've not heard of any of these people. New Franklin native Sarah Evans, Cantwell native Fairland Husky, Porter Wagner, Tyler Farr, Leroy Van Dyke. Um, sports teams. It's all Kansas City, and I think they're actually. Uh, well, you got St. Louis and Kansas City. You got the Royals. Kansas City Royals for baseball. You got the Cardinals in St. Louis. No more football teams because the Rams started in St. Louis, went to L.A., came back to St. Louis. Now we're back in L.A. It's it's a weird thing. Kansas City Chiefs, that's another one. Basketball? Is there a basketball? No. Fuck, you just got the NHL. You got the St. Louis Blues is the other one. Oh, we were pretty close. You know, the Mercer Assembly of God. Lots of Jesus in the Midwest. Actually, we've beaten the average score for uh, um, for this map, so lucky me. Uh, apparently, it's also a tidbit for this. Um, tied for the state with the most states that border it at, I believe it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tennessee is also tied for them with having that most bordered. Fascinating stuff, I know. That's what you come here for. I believe these are cotton fields. I've not actually seen a cotton field in person, but this appears to be so. We have another very small town, it looks like, here with... Uh, New Madrid and LaForge. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna find those here. I need a oh we do have root signs here. This will help. Sixty one and sixty two. Alright. We've got sixty seven, sixty three, sixty two. So we're down here in like the little dangly bit. I don't know why there's a dangly bit here, but not like I did with uh, um, that Minnesota point. 61 and 62. So, okay, here we are. New Madrid. Oh, we are actually right over here, huh? Okay, let's uh, go back real quick. I want to see this sign. It looks like it got hit by either snow or a truck or something. Two miles to New Madrid. New Madrid seismic zone. Interesting. I think there used to be a very defunct old. Um, fault line within the uh, it, it, the Kiwani or within the middle of the country and has been long since um, dead compared to other fault lines in the U.S. and that's mainly on the west coast. I'm going to click on that once I find exactly where we are. I need okay. Kiwani is a mile that way. La Forge in New Madrid. Come on. 
brain work. We're on 61, so we're down here. But we're a mile to Kiwani, so we're like here then, aren't we? Because New Madrid will be down this way. But La Forge, where's La Forge? Come on, idiot. You got you to triangulate here. I don't see it. I think I'm close. Anyway, fault lines. It used to be one in the Midwest. It's kind of died down as tectonic plates sometimes do. The big one now is out here on the San Andreas Fault. Fault line, I believe. Um, here, maybe? Or is it in closer here? Anyway, um, it's with the North American plate up against the uh, Pacific plate, and there's the whole ring of fire thing where this plate is going over this plate. And I believe it's going underneath this one. So there's huge uh, trenches out here. But a long time ago, there used to be. And a long time ago, that's, that's a very subjective term. But you're better off looking at, like, geology and seismology history of the U.S. If that's a thing for you. Um, yeah. Here we are. We made it, made it to the uh, end of the... Uh, the states here. Let me hit the button because I think I think I nailed it. I got pretty close. Cool. Well, I destroyed this. <laughs> got pretty lucky, I think, because a lot of them were going to end up being like this. I had a feeling of it, but here we are. The month can the month the days continue. The weeks continue. The strange, temporary history or temporary new normal continues. For how much longer? I don't know. I'm not a epidemiologist, virologist, or any other ologist. Anyway, going forward, I think, uh, depending on how I feel for the rest of the day, I may actually record, go back to the previous recording thing. Since most, even more things are on lockdown now, I'm kind of just at home. I mean, I've been playing some other games and whatnot to kill the time, but this also helps kill the time. Um, all I know, that your money's done. Again, thank you all for watching. If you liked any of this, or had any other comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, corrections, tips, thoughts, whatever you want, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Go enjoy your Monday. Be smart. And uh, we'll see you here back on uh, Wednesday for another round of Guessing Geography with me. See you later.